On this episode of Knox News, we're going to discuss the benefits of a healthy endothelium. So my name is Dr. J, and we will be looking at that inner part of the lining, just one cell layer thick, called the endothelium, and how important this one cell uh, layer thick uh, part of your artery truly is. It is the contact between your blood and the muscularis of your arteries, and it is where that all-important miracle molecule is created called nitric oxide. So as your arteries get older, you get aged, that endothelium can start to get in bad shape. It starts to get sticky, starts to absorb uh, things like oxidized cholesterol, heavy metals, things you don't want to get into your arteries. And so uh, this uh, endothelium is, is critical that it's healthy. So there's some botanical ways, some herbal ways, in which you can really support the inner part of your artery, arteries so that they can generate as much nitric oxide as possible. Now arginine in of itself, as you create nitric oxide, you start to heal up the inner part of your artery. But uh, to fast track that, a way to support uh, good healthy um, uh, endothelium in your arteries is by using things like hawthorn berry. Hawthorn berry has been used um, in traditional herbal medicine for years and years and years as a heart tonic, as a cardiovascular tonic, and so it's a nice way to support endothelial function. The other thing that can work along with that is green coffee bean, and that's because of the uh, HCA that's in there, and that HCA has been shown <coughs> to actually help to lower blood pressure, and so again, a good support to the endothelium. Uh, the other herbals that would be go along with that is horse chestnut. I find that certain herbs, they work different places of the body, so um, your hawthorn berry seems to be good more for the upper extremities, the heart and uh, the arteries in the upper extremities, where horse chestnut seems to work uh, good in the lower extremities of, of the body, so, uh, in the arteries and, and veins. So that's where your horse chestnut comes into play. And then there is a herb in Ayurvedic medicine called amla, or Indian fruit. And it also very supportive to the endothelium, something that helps your body to create nitric oxide. So a good balanced arginine nitric oxide product, you also want to have hawthorn berry, amla, green coffee, as well as horse chestnut to be able to support and keep that endothelium just as healthy as possible. And in the next episode of Knox News, we are going to be discussing how you need to protect the nitric oxide and why you would need to protect it. So stay tuned for that.